right here on the credit card information, whose name is it? That's your mom's it's name. It's my mom's name. <laughs> you know why? Because how, how, much, how, how much was this credit card for in 2000 for business cards? 169. 169 bucks. Some of you guys think millionaire and millionaire, oh, and Rolls Royce, all this shit. I couldn't afford $169 in business cards. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor. Yeah, I'm getting bigger. Was fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. Affirmations. Have you heard of them? You know, when people look at themselves in the mirror and say, I'm a champion. I'm a warrior. I'm number one, baby. Let's go. Do they really work? Well, you got to do them the right way. So in this episode of the Seven Figure Squad, I'm going to share with you the process of creating millionaire affirmations. And before many of you highly logical people that say, yeah, 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 I'm going to unsubscribe and put a negative comment down. Anyway, please time out real quick because I actually have a challenge for you. Watch this video. Put it into action. Give it a shot for 30 days. I mean, what do you have to lose anyway? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm just not saying that affirmations in itself by itself will work and changes your life. No, 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 no. You actually have to put in the work, the things that you are affirming. Now that's up to you. But affirmations actually help mold your mindset because your brain is always listening to help you speak a language of what I call million knees instead of broken knees. Now, before we begin, if you accept this challenge of millionaire affirmations, put it in the comment section below. I am practicing my millionaire affirmations. And then on a sheet of paper, start listing them out. Now, please let me prepare you. In this video, you're gonna hear a lot of my failures after failures after failures after failures. From the checks I made while being an enlisted sergeant in the Marine Corps to making five figure mistakes when I first started early on in my business endeavors. So. What got me through a lot of those failures? This right here, which was affirmations. And in being transparent with you today through this video, my hope is that it will inspire you to take action today. Now, because I believe in the importance and the training of this video, I actually have a special gift for those of you, the few of you that actually stick to the end of it to actually watch this entire thing. So please stick around, find out what it is. Now, let's not waste any more time. Here we go. Let's check this out. Picked two people twice, wrong, wrong partner, three kids. Thank God I had something going for me, which is my business, that I can prov pro provide the finances, improve the financial resources to the judge that I could be the custodial parent, mm -hmm. right? My first, my, uh, my first situation, uh, uh, married and divorced in 1995. Let me repeat that one more time. Married and divorced in 1995. <laughs> Same year. Okay, I'm sorry. Married, kid, divorced, all in the same year. You're talented, right? That's, 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 that's called multitasking. <laughs> you, you and I are laughing at everybody right now. <laughs> but man, I was, it was no laughing situation in 1995. <laughs> yep, yeah, right, Rudy, today. <laughs> 1995. <laughs> Nineteen ninety-five. <laughs> Smiling on the outside, crying on the inside. Huh? You know, a lot of self-doubt, a lot of these things going on in my life. Right? And then I made another mistake. I got out of the military, shacked up to the wrong girlfriend. 2000, 2000, 2001, and she thought she was married to me. We never got married, but she acted like it. <laughs> Taking me to court, throwing, that guy, I mean, throwing everything at me, the kitchen sink, the whole house. The kitchen sink, the bathroom sink, the utility sink down in the basement, every roof. <laughs> wasn't laughing about it. I wasn't laughing about it then. So what kept me going? What do you think kept me going? What do you think kept me going? Okay. How many guys have heard the, the conversation that majority of our self-talk, 70, 80% of it is? Negative. Oh, I can't do this. I'm not cut out for this. Man, you know, entrepreneurship, I can barely even spell the damn word. <laughs> Let alone be one. Entrepreneur. Ah, forget it. Right? Finances. Nobody in my family's ever been rich. And this whole generational wealth, that sounds like a great concept. Ah, forget about it. It's not for me. 
Why? Because you're dealing with rejection, self-doubt, self-belief. So in other words, naturally, our self-talk is what? Positive or negative? Negative. Positive. Positive. And, and uh, when you're building a base shop and when you're recruiting and when you're selling, guess who feels your self-talk? Everybody you're selling to. Everybody. Your clients can feel you. Ah, this person's thirsty. I'm not even sure if they know what they're talking about. Why? Because you let that self-doubt permeate through your conversations and your nonverbal communication. How many of you guys understand that communication is less about what you say? They said that what you say is 50% con con um, context and, 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 and messages and the words that you use. 50% of communication is just the words that you use. Okay? So in other words, if you're trying to prospect somebody, sell to somebody, just on email, text messages back and forth, it's the most ineffective form of communication. And it's also a scapegoat. How many times uh, somebody uh, um, not respond to you? Like, like, for example, we had a situation where somebody communicated with more with us when they were quitting. <laughs> but what didn't go right versus them communicating while we're in the mix. Hey, bro, we're going to work with you. We're going to work with you. We're going to work with you. Okay, okay, okay. And then when they're quitting, oh, you didn't do this right. Da, 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 I'm out the door. Well, what happened to this wonderful communication? <laughs> Why? Because the whole entire time they are self-doubt, 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 self-belief. And by the way, that's why I don't believe in anybody's social media profile. If anything that PHP has proven to us is that everybody's social media profile is shit. Because everybody talks about a pretty outside until you get them on the inside and you realize, oh, I don't care how many followers you get. I don't give you 1,000 followers, 10,000 followers, 500,000. We had a guy 850,000 followers. We had a guy 200,000 followers on YouTube and their reputation was shit. And we realized who they really were when we actually got to work with them. Oh, this doesn't work. No, 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 bro, it does work. I don't even have close to the followers you have, and it works. So what kept me going through all the stuff? It's one word. The power of affirmations. 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 Corny word, right? Some of you guys say, oh, oh, oh we go, affirmations. This is another uh, conversation of positive thinking. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, it's either positive thinking or you have what? Negative thinking. You have either light in you or the darkness in you. You can't have both. So let's, let's, talk, let's talk about this. So let's, uh, let's move to the next uh, slide. <laughs> That's it. Take notes. I mean, think about this. If you're absolutely confident about what you're doing because of your self-talk to yourself, how is somebody ever going to talk you out of the decision you made a month ago, six months ago, or a year ago? If you're absolutely confident in your marriage, your relationships, how does somebody talk you out of it? They can't, unless you've been telling it to yourself. Yeah, you're right. Maybe, maybe this girlfriend isn't the right one for me. You know, we've been together for three years now. You know, somebody says, you know what, you might as well cut loose now, cut your losses now. Who says that shit? Uncommitted people. You know, let me, let me uh, it's, you know, you know, divorce does happen. Maybe you should just go through it. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Who's been saying that? You've been saying that to yourself. You just let somebody compound what you've been saying to yourself. But also the flip side is true. Hey, man, maybe you should go in, for, go in business for yourself. Maybe you should start saving a lot more money. Maybe you should tuck some more money. Somebody repeats it, repeats it. They reaffirm that. Why? Because you initially affirm that yourself. So good or bad, positive or negative, your affirmation that you speak to yourself is so profound that it permeates inside your business, your life, and the success you have in the leaders' bulletin. Okay, so let's take a look at this. What does science say? In one study, functional magnetic resonance imaging scans, wow, <laughs> the reward centers of the brain associated with pleasure were activated participants practiced self-affirmations. So what happens when you practice self-affirmations? You activate what? The, rewards, the reward center of the brain. Okay? Now, acts, uh, this acts also as an emotional buffer counteracting painful, negative, or threatening information that contradicts a person's true desires or wishes. So acts as emotional buffers counteracting. So, so number one, you have positive self-talk, but the acts 
as emotional buffers that counteract that creates painful, negative, and threatening information that contradicts a person's true wishes and desires. So in other words, what you do is different than what you say. And that's why you never get what you want. So you say this, you declare this, boom, activation. How many, guys, how many times have you been at a big event? I'm going to change my life. I'm all wrong. I'm going to put thousands of butts in seats, right? And then you get back, you get hit with a couple challenges, which we all do, right? How many guys know that when we get back from big event, back from train to train, back from convention, back from Fast Star School that afternoon, you're going to have an attack coming your way? Always. Boom, always. <laughs> Anticipate that. You know it's coming. You know, you know like what's going on right now? Sad, sad to see this. Hamas and, uh, and is, Israeli uh, um, Iron Dome. They see the rockets coming. Iron Dome comes in to intercept the missiles. You got to have like a Iron Dome to people giving you negative rockets. As soon as never rocket come in, intercept. Boom in the air. Hey, you never touched me. Never touched my heart. Okay, number three. Number four. In other words, a regular practice of positive affirmations increases the likelihood of turning affirmations into positive actions and positive feelings. This is because the more you repeat something to yourself, the more your brain believes it. The more your brain believes it, the more likely you are to act on it because you already believe it's possible. Why is it that when I'm hanging around fellow believers, oh, I believe this in the Lord, I believe this in the Lord, I believe this, I'm, oh, Jesus is going to deliver. Sunday, and as soon as you hit the parking ministry that afternoon, somebody cut you off? <laughs> what happened to your testimony? Jesus done what? He left the car. Jesus didn't take the wheel. <laughs> Right? Because what you declare on Sundays has to be reaffirmed with actions. Otherwise, your brain doesn't believe it. You get it? Yeah, I mean, I'm not just breaking that from a positive standpoint. I'm, I'm breaking it from science. You know, they're a little bit more sophisticated these days. You know, Jojo, uh, babe, how old was Jojo when he started uh, going to school and they told me he needed to be on ADD? How old was he? Six? Five, he was five, six years old. What, what five, six year old boy do you know that, that sits still? <laughs> All of them have a severe case of itchy butt, right? Five, six year old, itchy butt. You, itchy butt. Boy, itchy. Uh, y'all got five, five, six year old. Yes, teacher. And then what happened is a teacher tried convincing Sheena, you need to put him on Adderall. Five years old. And she's like, uh uh, nah. Affirmations, affirmations, affirmations. No, my son's not going to be on drugs. Learn how to teach, teacher. Learn how to deal with that situation. That's why we pay you at this private school. Right? So privately teach. <laughs> and so they were so adamant about us putting JoJo on Adderall. We refused that. So what we did, we took him to a, 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 a neuro... A neuro brain scan, come to find out, he's got the proclivity, fancy word here, he's got the proclivity. Yes. <laughs> it's a Morton West High School word. <laughs> right? He has a disposition to have a DD. Okay? So what do we do? We put him on his brain scan, we reprogram the way JoJo watches, because it's, it's kind of a cool thing, you're watching this thing, you're watching the movie, it goes in and out. And you're, fo you're, you're focusing. You don't focus, it blurs out, sound goes around. You focus. Clears up, sound. So you're, fo you're teaching your brain how to focus. It's like 30, it's like 30 minute, 30 minute sessions, 30 minute sessions. Just tricking your brain how to focus. Some of you guys need that. Uh, <laughs> 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 yes, that's, that's, <laughs> that's called uh, uh, itchy butt unaddressed. Yes. And then you, and then you grow up. Okay. Anyway, what happened to Jojo? No more itchy butt. You know what happened to Jojo? 90 percentile test scores. He kicked everybody's ass, proved everybody wrong because we didn't believe in Adderall. That's right. yeah. You see what I mean? And by the way, there's so many other, so many other circumstances coming your way that are going to try to put negative thinking, which lacks facts and data, to support your way of, way of thinking. In the same way, the practice of learning a new language is learning rich in ease is learning Millionese. Mm -hmm. 
is unlearning brokenness a process. Because learning a new language restructures and strengthens your brain. So in other words, you got to loosen what you thought you'd be doing is a brokenness type of entrepreneur. And you got to strengthen and reaffirm the richness, millionese language, which is going to ultimately restructure the way talk, think, move, act. You go about doing your business. It's going to restructure your, your life if these affirmations are practiced of learning to think what? Positively. Positively. And people are like, what do we do? Nobody showing me at the office. I remember when we shut down the office here during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I, hey, guys, listen, this thing's for real. No more phones on tonight. What, really, Matt? Are you, are you, are you, are you guys remember that night? Right here. Some of you guys, Zoom babies, don't know what we're talking about. This time last year, we're like, what the hell's going on? And we're like kind of freaking out. If Matt's saying it, Patrick's saying it, I'd be like, yeah. 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 is it like, like, everybody can turn into zombies or something? Like, <laughs> you, thought you, you thought we were pranking us. Like, okay. yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, as much as I'm joking around, you, you guys thought I was pranking you, but I wasn't. I'm like, bro, what is, like we did like a TikTok right before that. Like, achoo, hmm? Right? 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 We're doing TikToks before, the next thing you know, the next week, we actually, we're actually, we shut down the office. We shut down the public gathering. Like, we are now starting to open up our office for public gatherings. But this time last year, this office was a ghost town. Only people showing up were renters. But what we needed to do during the pandemic? When you, what do you need to do during a crisis? Learn how to think? Positively. positively. Next slide. Okay? Learn how to think positively. Okay. Next one. Benefits, benefits affirmation. Here's why you should have this affirmation. And some of you guys, the funny thing is, some of you guys are giving me this look right now, like the stink face, like, why do we got to learn this shit? What, is it, what does this have to do with building a business? Oh, yeah. Listen. According to the SBA, Everything. how many businesses fail in the first year? 50%. 54%. An overwhelming amount of business fail in the first year. Does that mean the business operation was bad? No, because when push came to shove, the, the, the owner had nobody to lean on, and they weren't reinforced to think positively. What did they do? Quit. They quit. I, I, guys, let me, let me show you a little something, something. Okay? I, I'm holding, let's see, where, where is that? Where is that bad boy? Um, here, pa pass, this, this, I, I think I, yeah, I did, I blocked out my social security number. Okay, <laughs> guys. <laughs> this is me. This is what I made in the Marines. Pass it around. Matter of fact, Janelle, your brother's in the Marines. Stand up real quick. Uh, stand up and tell everybody what, according to this, what do you call these? W what? W twos? Forgot what they're called. So I haven't, I haven't gotten one. Okay. Right there. Read, read out loud. My gross pay. My gross pay. Read out loud. Tell everybody. Turn around. Tell everybody. Wages, tips, other compensation is sixteen thousand five hundred thirty-eight with nineteen cents. That's what I made in the Marines. Sixteen thousand dollars a year. I think this is my fourth, fifth year in the Marines. 16,000 a year. Isn't that crazy? The entire year, deployed. We used to go uh, a volunteer for this dude, this dude just to make an extra 100 bucks. Here's what I did part-time. Remember I joke about being Jiffy Lube? Here's my part-time job as a Jiffy Lube. What did I make part-time for the entire year? Wages, tips, other compensation, $2,478. <laughs> Woo! So combined, full-time job. So I'm, I'm trading time for dollars. 1995, my son's born. I barely get to see my son the first year. I'm not even deployed. What am I doing? Making money, because I'm broke. $16,000 a year, to, uh, 25, it's $19,500 a year combined income, gross. Wow. Do you know where I find myself? Thinking about doing this. Hmm, if I can go down to, uh, uh, um, what do you call that, Medi-Cal, um, uh, uh, food stamps, that type of stuff. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, uh, uh, for the women's, WIC, WIC. I, I'm literally in the WIC line. I, 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 take the, I take one thing a WIC, okay? I qualified for WIC. I make, make that, that type of money. I'm in Orange County, California. I qualified for WIC. So I go down to Albertsons. Thanks, bro. I, 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 matter of fact, pass it around. Give it back. <laughs> okay? I'm in, I'm in Albertsons, and uh, I got my cereal, cheese, because making quesadillas, eggs, milk, boom. And I'm looking around. Because I know it's going to take a minute. Because I, I had the stamps. Right. I had scanned it, stamp, yeah. stamp, stamp, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm looking less, less, because you know why? I want somebody standing behind me like, <sighs> 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 I'm, 
I'm like, boom. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Moving to the other aisle. <laughs> I don't want to back. I don't want to back kick him. <laughs> but what kept what kept me? What, what made me say, you know what? This is the first and last time I'm going to do this. Power of powers of thinking. I'm better than this. I'm better than begging. Okay. Exercise, benefits of affirmation. Exercise your mind. Eliminate negative limiting beliefs. Transform your comfort zone. Ooh, that's a big one. Life-changing don't, moments don't happen in your comfort zone. Life-changing moments happen in your uncomfort zone. Home and mediocre, the place where anything, uh, uh, anything is possible. Replaces can'ts with cans. Are you a Mexican or are you Mexican? <laughs> are you Puerto Rican or are you Puerto Rican? Are you American or American? Yeah? Does it come with an apostrophe? Power of uh, uh, affirmations replaces fears and doubts with confidence and certainty. So, so how, how many guys have access to this blueprint? Does everybody have access to it? So how come to the person to the left and right you have different results? Everything about that? Why are some people in this room MDs and some people aren't? Why are some people directors? Why are some people aren't? How come you've been like a two-year training associate? <laughs> Because when you left, you said, you know, I'm just nothing more than a training associate. Because I bought into everybody's negativity. I just come here for a social circle. And when I come here on Tuesdays, when I come here on Saturdays, I just feel a little bit better for at least an hour. But I go back to my negative way of thinking, my negative habits, my negative environment. Because you believe more in that than you believe in the better version of yourself. Because you didn't replace fears and doubts. Tonight, by the way, tonight we're going to share with you a little exercise how to create new, some, some new affirmations, Okay. Okay, last one. Keeps you focused on goals. Affirmations keeps you focused on goals and solutions as opposed to challenges or obstacles. I pulled, I pulled out something here, bro. You, you're going to laugh at this. Okay. Rude dog. <laughs> you need, you need, these days, you got to put on reading glasses. So, so stand up and read everybody what that is. This is uh, his license of insurance. <laughs> The picture, he looks like he's 14. <laughs> <laughs> what year? 11-16-1999. Uh, wow. Okay, wow. here's a funny thing. The first company uh, I was a financial service related with, I was so broke. So broke. Right here on the credit card information, whose name is it? That's your mom. That's my mom's name. <laughs> you know why? Because how, how, much, how, how much was this credit card for in 2000 for business cards? 169 169 bucks. Some of you guys think millionaire and millionaire, oh, and Rolls Royce, all this shit. I couldn't afford $169 in business cards. The reason why I get so much love and credibility for marketing directors, because they're just like myself, they're just like you as trainees. Looking for what? Positive affirmation to believe in. It's 1999, guys. My son's four years old. At this moment, I'm picking the wrong girlfriend again. I realize a pattern. Until I run to this guy in 2002. Because I get invited to a men's breakfast. A what? A men's breakfast. men's breakfast. <laughs> it wasn't that good of a breakfast either. <laughs> when? Saturday. Saturday? <laughs> You know what I do on Saturdays, man? Ba -ba, right? Okay, okay. Matter of fact, Friday night. Forget Friday night. Ba -ba, right? right, right. Uh, what time is this men's breakfast at this so-called church? 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. What? What? I'm just rolling. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting home at 6 o'clock. <laughs> Next thing you know, this guy, bus open, living word, uh, uh, old country buffet, OCB. He's reading scripture, and he spoke a word of affirmation to me from the Bible that I've never heard before. I've never heard before. I'm like, that's the way the Bible sounds like? I've never heard the Bible sound like that. Who is this sexy Puerto Rican dude? They get to know, man. Chocolate. It's Rudy. Right? And I realized at that time, God was introducing me to my best friend. He's introducing me, the Puerto Rican lover of my life. 
And guess what I started doing? As a single man, guess what I started doing? Okay, boom, Rudy, Rosie, okay, married, have a kid, you know? Oh, that's the way they operate. Oh, that's how married people, oh. I want that one in my life one day. I picked wrong twice. <laughs> boom, boom. I started, what? Replacing the current structure of my brain at that moment, right? And strengthening a life that I wanted. You guys follow me so far? That's it. Um, you guys are gonna laugh at this. You guys, how many times? What's what's one of the steps when we have uh, you fast start? Top twenty-five. It's my first top twenty-five list from nineteen ninety-nine. First top twenty-five list. Nineteen. You know why? You know why I kept this? Because I know it's gonna do something great in my life. I kept this. I said, you know, nobody joined me. <laughs> this, this. This was not one damn name on this fucking top 25 list. <laughs> There's not one damn name on this top 25 list. <laughs> this is a 714 area. This is Orange County, California. Orange County, 949562. Not one. Not one. Not one damn person on the top. And I was, uh, and I was sophisticated with top 25. I said, you know what? Maybe I need a top 50 list. <laughs> No, one damn person is in business for this top 25 list. You know why? Because in, in, this, in this process, in this process, I was purging the negative and I was strengthening the positive. Yeah? And I just needed the, what, what was my weights? What was my mental and emotional weights? What was my resistance? Top 25 list. What was my emotional and mental marathon that I needed to run? Right here. Because I needed to get stronger, dealing with rejection and failure. You guys got it? So some people say, oh my gosh, I went through the top 25. Not one. My whole world says no. <laughs> Here's another top 25. I, uh, May 24. Hot, hot, I said hot prospects for month of May. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, now I'm looking at some of these. Yeah, you doubted me. You doubted me. You said no. Yeah, yeah. yeah Uncle Sport. Yeah, I remember you. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah, Uncle Tony. Yep. Remember you too as well. Yep. Yeah, high school class. Yep, yep, yep. Exactly you. Yeah. <laughs> Not one person. I've made more money with strangers than I ever had with friends and family. Because in the process, guess what I had to do? I had to purge myself of the negative and restrengthen and reaffirm the positive. And that's, and that's a process. It doesn't happen overnight. By the way, this is my business plan. Okay? Here's, here's my monthly business. From jump in, jump in July 1999. Glossy, do you, you know why there's a bunch of scribbles on this thing? Any, any idea why there's scribbles? No. Because I was a single dad. And my kids caught my notes and they started drawing all over my notes. <laughs> Well, I was making phone calls. That's, that's, that's my, my, my babies. My math, that's not, this is not my babies. This is Reuben. Because my babies were born in 01, my twins. Mm -hmm. This is 1999. Reuben was four years old. So here on the back, I was, rent, I was putting down my expenses. This is, guys, 1999. You guys ready for this? Yeah. 1999. Okay, office, office overhead. Number one, rent. How much was my rent, Glossy? Back in 1900, $1,200. Wow. 1999, single dad. You were a trainee. I'm, bar I'm barely a trainee, bro. I just, I remember, I just got my, 1999, I just got my license. But I knew it was going to do something big. Uh, office dues, 100 bucks. Oh, $1,200 down, first and last, $700 a month thereafter. Phone, 100 bucks. Um, paper, binders, supplies, 100 bucks. I would budget, I'd go to Office Depot. These are, these, these are the things. Guys, if you're not doing this yourself, you're not really planning to succeed. You're, you're winging it. Hoping that somebody does this for you. Nobody's going to do it for you. Okay? My top 25 list. Um, this is my first, uh, let's see here. This is, my first, uh, this is my first complaint to my business partner. Excuse me. This is my first complaint to my business partner. I said, bro, you ain't doing shit. Where you at? Where you at? I typed it out. I typed it out. <laughs> what, what, what day was the email, Jen? At the top? Uh, January. 17, 2003. 2003. I said, uh, dear, see, in Filipino, if the, if the Filipino is older than you, call him uncle. I said, dear Uncle Mars, I was looking forward to seeing you at the office the last couple of days to talk to you about this. You know why? He doesn't show up. <laughs> I should have I planned better. According to our company, we've made approximately $200 in overrides this month. <laughs> you know why? Because I was at 120% contract. And we contracted everybody at 110, 115, 90, 95. This, this, this is my evolution. According to our budget, 
Our rough estimate on monthly expenses goes as follows. 960 to Victor, our assistant. 645 in office rent, $100 telephone, 150 rent, $50 voicemail. We had to pay for voicemail back in the day, guys. <laughs> T1 line, internet, 75 bucks a month, and $50 average line usage because we're, pay we're, we're still charged for every call we made back in 1999. You don't have that these days. But back then, for every call you made, they logged it, blah, 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 collect call, collect call, collect call. You called your, your 708, you called 630. Your 70, you called 312, right? You called 847. That's why my cell phone's 847, because my first office is in Skokie. And if I check my voicemail, I don't want to pay toll call. I want to make a local call. You guys don't remember those days. But that, you know, some of you guys remember those days, right? Okay. Okay. So I, I so here's, I just made a check for our assistant today. We, complete our, we are completely dry now. No more expected income this week. Alma, Jules, and Mauricio have not paid for rent. Our, our companies. Our, 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 it's Mauricio. Yeah. <laughs> Our company is being charged a late fee, which technically is now under my name. Mm. What is our arrangement when it comes to overrides and not sufficient to meet monthly expenses? I ask because I haven't said anything about shouldering all outstanding company expenses for my personal income in, in back into company coffers. How does our partnership work under this? Do I take money out of my account and deposit it into our company account and wait reimbursement? Uncle Mars, even though we both have company debts, we both have to put work on our own. But what do we do when, it's what do we do when it goes for go ongoing expenses? We need to talk about this and get a solution in place. Four planners came to the office. We called our guys associates. We called them planners because I was training financial planners. Mm. You know, I, I, because I was so lacking affirmations that you could get so much done with just a life insurance license. Four planners came to the office today and were upset, uh, were upset that nobody was here to help them. I was with Mauricio. <laughs> at the, West, at the West, Side, West Side Institute. What's the West Side Institute? What was that back in the day? I don't know, maybe a private school. I was at Mauricio at the West Side Institute this morning arranging a financial management workshop for the college. I believe we need to always maintain a partnership presence in the office at all times. Again, this is something we need to talk about and implement a solution. Call me anytime, I just sell into my new place. This is a conversation I'm having with my business partner who wasn't doing much in 2003. Because I was holding a standard because of my affirmations. Because I would refuse to be broke again. And my, my daughters are about two years old at the time. I had no time to play. I had zero time to play. Listen, guys, when, when, I, when I learned that I was about to have twins, I cried. Not because I was happy. I cried because I have been doing shit, man. <laughs> How am I going to pull this off? Okay, next slide. Next slide. All right. How to create positive affirmations. Start with the words, I am. Everybody say, I am. I am. Listen, one of, one of, one of, for, those, for those of you who are believers, one of God's favorite words is, I am. And if, and if you are created in his likeness, therefore you are I am. Okay, and start with the words I am. Use the present tense, not past tense, not future tense, present tense. So you're affirm what you are today, right now. Stated in the positive, affirm what you want, not what you don't want. For example, I'm never going to do this. I'm never going to do that. That's too negative. You see, it's already negative. I'm not this. I'm not. No, no, no. Don't say what you're not. Don't say what you're never. Say what you, say what you am. <laughs> Is that right, English? Okay. Keep it brief. Make it specific. Include an action word ending with the word ing. Because if, if you're doing it. Include at least one dynamic emotion or feeling word. Make affirmations for yourself, not others. You're not trying to please nobody else. You're pleasing who? You, you gotta take care of you. This is the moment when you get selfish. This is my first order from Amazon in 1999. Wow. A Amazon was three years old at this time. This is where you still had labels. I tore, I tore out the label, put it back, right? But the first receipt from Amazon was my book, Notes from a Friend, Tony Robbins. Wow. These are things that uh, I want you guys to archive in your life, man, because this is you creating a, this is you creating a, uh, a financial uh, milestone of where you're at. This is, um, <laughs> this is for me, so I needed to buy an upline. I'm a 140% commission contract, still negative. This is year 2006. I'm starting to get good at this thing. I'm starting to sell insurance. I started making my first $100,000. I figured I need to reinvest back into my business. And somebody invited me to a marketing and advertising workshop. I need to promote myself. I need to create a personal brand. Okay? And so somebody brought, brought me to this company named Peter Montoya. So a financial services marketing firm. 
By the way, where's my 1090? Where's my W-2s? Who's got my W-2s? Okay, got it right here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Before I pass out, I think I make sure I got the first ones back. Okay, I want you guys to look at this receipt. Uh, don't worry about the credit card number because it's an old credit card number. <laughs> you can take it down all you like. It's not going to go through. <laughs> and yes, this is under my name this time around. <laughs> okay, so here's what I needed. I need no option number one, business development coaching. I need a full brand overhaul and implementation. I needed somebody to create me for, me for me a brochure, a presentation folder, okay? A website, postcard, create a logo, stationery, which includes letterhead, business cards, envelopes, and note cards, flyer, PowerPoint background, advertising for a billboard, and signage. I needed this. By the way, do you need this right now for PHP? No, no they already made it for you. But what, what, did it cost, what did it cost me? Uh, uh, Misty, can you stand up real quick and read total order and turn around and read the amount, please? And where is this shit? <laughs> Nowhere. Because <laughs> guess what happened in 07? Social media was created. Yeah. You don't need a damn folder. <laughs> Guys, ask me, ask me, Matt, can I have a business card? No. Okay. Ask me, Matt, can I have a business card? Matt, can I have a business card? I don't have one. <laughs> 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 this, this, is the first, this is my first personal brand fold, uh, a brochure created. Oh, wow. Nice. All right. 16, <laughs> oh. All right, pa 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 pass this around. So, oh, pass this around. This is my this, this, on company DVD. By, by, by the way, time out, time out. I forgot, that was, that was the second order. You know, that's the second order. This is the first order. This is the first order, because I, I realized I needed a marketing plan, a company brochure. Glossy, can you read that out loud? What did I pay for that plan? $836. Oh, wait. Put it right here, total order. Total order, I'm sorry. $6,695. But my down payment was 800 bucks. Yikes. And I'm also showing the first copy of my first workshop. A little, little bit of a history lesson here you got. You got more top 25 lists here, sheesh. But what I'm passing around to you right now, guys, is failures at the failures unnecessary spending of money. And I'm doing this at 130, 140% contract. You know what happens when you get 130, 140% contract? No support. People promise you support. I remember, I remember sitting down saying, oh, great, I'm thinking for my contract. I called John. Hey, John, listen, John, um, I need some support. What, what do you think I should do for my business? You know what he says? You figure it out. You're at 130% contract. <laughs> if you want my help, back it down, back it down 100%. <laughs> I guess I'll figure it out then. Let me go uh, call Peter Montoya and put $16,000 down. But by the way, in my mind, why do you think I'm spending 16000 bucks? Because I'm bidding on me. There's an affirmation with inside of myself. Man, I need, and some of you guys, oh, we're going to go to a big event. Right. Oh my God, big event. You know, two and a half day, 250 bucks, you know, a big event. <laughs> oh my God, I got I to gotta put myself up and I got to go to Vegas. Oh my gosh, I got to go. Uh, uh, by the way, guys, you're going to hear some very good news here shortly from MGM Grand. Can't tell you what it is. You're going to have some very good news. You know why? Because we are doing our part. Okay. Next slide. Okay. Transform affirmation to mantras. And to the now. Take the condition you desire and declare it to be already true in the present. Be positive. Subconscious mind skips the word not. Shine light on what you do want. Be concise. Shorter is easier to remember. Rhyming makes them even more memorable. Right? How many times, have we do, how many times do we do rhymes? I will do today what others will not, to have tomorrow what others cannot. It's a rhyme. All I can do is all I can do, because all I can do is enough. How many times, right? How many times do you say rhymes to yourself? Every day and every way I'm getting better and better. Every day I'm every, getting better and better. Exactly. Some will, some won't. So what? Next. <laughs> there's, other, there's other iterations. What do you tell yourself? 
I, I, I tell you this, the one, one, thing that Sheena, one thing that Sheena and I are experiencing right now at this level of CDO, uh, chairwoman, of the, chairwoman of the board, board council, do you know what we deal at this level? 80% of our time is dealing with complaints. This person's not doing this right. This person's not doing this right. You're not doing this right. Wait a minute, who's the millionaire here? What, what, do, you, what do you guys think about when you see those receipts, by the way? What's going through your head? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say that. Huh? Yeah. 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 By the way, think about that. That's a great point. Yeah. Yeah. I invested into my business three years later, virtually what I made all year as a Marine. Do you know why? Because after, because I had to grow. I'm not thinking like, oh, I was only making $16,000 a year. You know I'm thinking about? I'm about to be great, man. I am great. I am great. I am great. I know I'm broke, but I'm greater than being broke. <laughs> You're right? Last one, include action. Includes a feeling word. Emotion is in the heart. It sears into your spirit. Next one. Uh, ten ways to create affirmation. Okay, let's, let's get you involved here. Let's get you guys involved here. Next, next slide. Okay, number one, discover what you want to change or conjure more of into your life. Give me some ideas. What do you want to, what, what do you want to conjure more of in your life? What do you want to change? Give, give me some feedback. Health? What else? Health? What else? Finances. Wealth? Finances? Mindset. Mindset? What else? Relationships. Relationships? Good. What else? Family. Family? Awesome. What else? Time? Time? Good. These are all very healthy. Okay? Start making a list of the areas of your life where you would like to see changes happen. Number two, be smart. Be smart. As with any goal, the most successful aspirations must be specific, measurable, achievable, or actionable, realistic, and timely. Smart. <clears throat> Money smart. Business smart. Even if your unique positive affirmation does not meet all of these criteria, it is essential to keep it as focused as possible. Okay, the brain focuses on keywords rather than a full sentence. Keywords. Okay? Uh, I am not weak. Uh, uh, so if you make a statement, I am not weak, your brain will automatically, ultimately focus on the word weak. Okay? It is therefore best to rephrase this as a positive statement, I am strong. Oh. Even if you may feel weak. You get it? You might feel weak, but you are strong. I mean, I like you right now, but I love you. You guys get it? Because that's, that's the affirmation. Because the enemy tried to get me, the best of me right now. That's right. Yeah, you think I'm perfect up here? No. You, think, you think I don't get pissed? I get pissed. But what do I affirm? I love you, babe. <laughs> and by the way, she knows you better. Right? And what do I affirm? That. Okay, next one. Focus on the present. Write your positive affirmation in the present tense. By the way, every time she and I get into a fight, I just look at Jordan. I'm like, well, what a beautiful baby. Thank you, sweetheart, for dealing with nine months, shooting that through. Uh, <laughs> so, for example, I am strong instead of I will be strong. Okay? Not I'm going to. How many, how many times somebody tell you, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get licensed? Now. Wrong, wrong affirmation, right? I am getting licensed and the date is set. It's not that, you don't, it's not set, you don't have a date yet, it's kind of a phone. So therefore we can really create this affirmation. And then what happens when you get licensed and you get appointed, what happens? Man, I am making, I am making $3,000 my first, I'm making $5,000 my first month, I'm making $10,000 this month. And what happens to your brain? It goes after the actions necessary to make that true. Yes. I am making 10,000 a month because da 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 even if you don't have nothing. Yep. You guys got it? Yeah. Okay. It also helps your brain create the positive feelings associated with desired change, and this reward will encourage your continued practice. Okay, good? Yeah. Next one. Affirm in the first person. Okay. Write your affirmation with I instead of you. By the way, um, uh, those in relationships, stop telling what the other one's supposed to be doing. Don't, don't affirm them. You affirm you. Start with you. Well, you need to be doing this. You need to be doing that. You need to stop nagging. 
You need to stop telling me this. You need to stop, start with you. Well, only if you did. Now, nah, see, that's, 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 you're deflecting. Right? You're taking ownership with your affirmations. For example, I'm happy rather than you are happy. This helps instill a stronger sense of identity in the brain. You can also add your name if that is helpful. For example, I. Let, let, okay, let's, let's, let's all do this again, right? <laughs> it says, I name, I am happy, okay? So insert your name there and say, I am happy. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. So guys, I, when, when somebody doesn't follow through with you, you get a charge back, somebody cancels on you, you have three points ready to go, it was on close that night, they're about to code with you, they don't show up, what do you do? I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Push it through. <laughs> Things are awesome. <laughs> you laugh because you've been there. <laughs> but you got no other choice but what? Keep making phone calls. You know, we talked we talked about this Saturday about what? What was our topic of the Saturday? Don't quit. Don't quit. What, what happens if they quit on you and you end up quitting on yourself? All the time, effort, money, and energy you just spend doing this is all gone. Yeah. And you've got nothing to show for. So, next one. Uh, connect the feeling to the behavior. Desired behaviors that are tied to positive feelings are more likely to turn into real actions. This is because pleasure acts as a reward. That you want to repeat again and again. For example, I stand up for myself and I feel empowered rather than I stand up for myself. The feeling word empowered strengthens the affirmation. Okay, uh, a few more, uh, 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 three more after this. Number seven, create a detailed image. Incorporate the previous steps into the detailed visualization of your positive affirmation to keep in your mind's eye what you state your mantra. Guys, when I'm doing my affirmation, I'm going over my dream board. Some of you guys don't have, have a dream board. You create a special folder in your phone. And then when nothing's going, on, you just swipe through your phone. That's my dream. It's my dream house. It's a dream car. It's a dream vacation. It's the money wanting to match. Just swipe, swipe. So you guys can make a lot of visuals today. Forget, forget the pictures. What about the videos? Yes. Pinterest. All, all these different things. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Boom. There's your dream board. You know the crazy part? You know what my dream board was? It was a Mercedes. It was a Mercedes. Uh, 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 AM, you guys remember the AMG? <laughs> and for everybody that sold the dream to, guys, what did AMG stand for? Guys, I don't know what AMG stands for, but I'm driving in the state. Yo, Rudy, guess what? What? Oh, my God! Because I'm driving my dream car. And I want you to be driving your dream car. Right? And you're, you're going through your dream. I'm driving my dream car. It makes me feel freaking like a boss. Makes me feel awesome. I'm driving my dream car. It makes me feel like I can achieve anything. These are affirmations you're telling yourself. Next one. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. Practice your affirmations. What do you say to yourself when you're about to go up on stage and talk? Guess what you're talking? Affirmations. Right? The, re the reason why people are nervous talking in front of people is because they're unprepared and have negative affirmations versus positive affirmations. Next one. Be mindful of triggers. There may be a certain positive affirmation you are not ready to hear. For some people, using kind words towards themselves can actually be very, very painful. Oh, wow. yeah. This is often the case if abusive words were heard during childhood. childhood. That's good. That's good. That's For example, the positive affirmation, I'm worthy, can actually make somebody feel worse because it makes yeah. maybe un unlocking a painful memory yeah. when they're made to feel the opposite. You, 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 by the way, guys, you know what became an, uh, a, a negative affirmation for me? It is uh, As weird as it sounds, you know, what, you know what the weirdest affirmation for me that has a negative trigger for me? God bless you. Mm. <sighs> right? When did God bless you turn into a cuss word to me? Because that's the way I, that's the way I grew up. Yeah, God bless you. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Think about how weird that is. Yeah, yeah, well, whatever. God bless you. It sounds like what? F you. Yeah. Right? So guess what I had to do? I had to strengthen that. I had to purge out the negative and re reframe it because it's still a good affirmation. 
So what are those? What are those triggers for you? Now you got to figure out, figure out what that is. Number number ten, last one. Find the best way to practice for you. Find the best way. There's no one way to practice positive affirmations. How many of you guys still feel nervous doing Facebook Lives, IG Lives? Good. Guess what you got to do? Back to number nine. Practice. But number ten, find out the best way to practice. So in other words, before you guys do live, maybe you just do a 30 second, 60 second, two minute, three minute, talk to yourself in, in video. And, and by the way, go deeper than just critiquing the way you look, your makeup, your hair, all that stuff. Okay? Your lineup, whatever the case may be. Start asking yourself this question. If I'm watching me, would I believe me? You're, 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 you're discerning with that person. Would I believe me? Oh. You know what you know, I tell myself all the time when I'm listening to myself? Man, I talk too damn fast. Because you know what? Because my brain's thinking fast. So I've, I've learned just by watching myself to slow the heck down. Enunciate your words. So therefore, ancient Pagan doesn't think I'm having a bitch kid. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Because that's what it sounded like on stage two weeks ago. Matt, did you... Did you let me, Matt, listen to this. I'm like, yo, you're right. It does sound like that. I need to slow the heck down. By the way, I'm, I'm, I'm still in practice. Okay? That, when you're doing, when you're doing uh, uh, Facebook Lives, I've learned on TV to slow down the word when I say assets. Because you know what it sounds like on TV when you say that word too fast? Everybody say assets really fast. One, two, three. Asses. You just said asses. <laughs> When you're working with your financial asses. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> so, so that's what you're, that's what you're practicing. Because you guys are CEOs of your own brand. Yes. Right? When you're taking the notes that you're taking right now, the reason why you see yourself taking notes in 2021 is because in 2031, 2041, you're passing around, hey man, this is my first office here in Oak Brook. Check out my first invoice. This is my first clear check. I, 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 I have those here. I have first clear checks. Because you know why? Because back then, I was bouncing all sorts of checks. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first one that cleared, yes! People, people are like, you play in the NBA? No, because your checks keep bouncing. <laughs> Guys, I used to go to the bank. I used to go to the bank shameful. I used to go like that because, you know, $500 in overdraft fees. But you, you, the reason why you're taking these type of notes is because you're, you're planning to do something great. I am doing something great. I am doing something great. Okay, so let's take a few minutes here, okay? Let's do one, let's do one affirmation. Let's do one affirmation. Uh, DJ, um, classical pews. Vivaldi, Bach, Brahms. <laughs> like what, I, what do I know, what do I know? I just, I just remember when I read at Starbucks, okay? <laughs> Moonlight Sonata, that's right. Okay, Moonlight Sonata. Uh, I want you guys to work on one affirmation, everybody. Can, can we, in the next five minutes, can we work on one affirmation? Yes, one affirmation, okay? Let's get, let's get in meditation music. By the way, I studied, listen to this music, because it gets the brain to flow, okay? So can you rock with me? Can we do this exercise together? Okay, we'll give you the next few minutes to do your affirmation. Woo! Now, if you made it this far, you are one step closer to becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire. Now, as I promised, I've got a gift for you. Now, if you made it this far, please comment one millionaire affirmation in the comment section below and we will be selecting three of you to win a first generation cash flow millionaire shirt from the Seven Figure Squad merchandise store. But by the way, if you post two or even three millionaire affirmations below, you just might stick yourself out from the rest to be selected to win this merch. And before I let you go, if you wanna know how millionaires manifest money, Check out this video right here. One of my favorite videos here on the Seven Fear Squad YouTube channel. And also, if you want some mindset hacks, check out this video here I did with my CEO founder of our company, Patrick McDavid, host of Valuetainment, on some mindset hacks to help you become a first generation cash flow millionaire. So that being said, guys, thanks for watching the entirety of this YouTube video, of this episode. Again, if you have any other comments, please post your comments, your questions, 
your follow-ups, your feedback, put it in the comment section below. If you've been watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. If you've been watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, guys, I'm your Money Smart Guy, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Thank <laughs> you.